लेसन नंबर फोर एयर प्रेशर जोग्राफिकल एक्सप्लेनेशन ड्यूरिंग द एक्टिविटी यू सॉ दैट द बैलेंस स्टेप ऑन द साइड ऑफ द फुल ब्लोन बलून दिस शोज दैट द एयर हैज वेट एनीथिंग दैट हैज वेट एक्जर्ट प्रेशर ऑन द थिंग दैट लाइज बिलो इट दस द एयर इन द एटमोस्फेयर एक्जर्ट प्रेशर ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द अर्थ Due to this air pressure, various phenomena like storms, precipitation, etc., occur in the atmosphere. There are variations in air pressure. Air pressure is not uniform on all places on Earth's surface. Air pressure keeps on changing from time to time. The altitude of a region. temperature of the air and amount of water vapor in the air are some factors influencing air pressure altitude of the region and air pressure the proportion of dust in the air water vapor heavy gases etc is higher in the air closer to the surface of the earth this proportion decreases with increasing altitude as when moves higher and higher from the surface of the earth the air becomes thinner and thinner as a result the air pressure decreases with increasing altitude air temperature and air pressure try this take a flying lantern Tie an approximately five meter long thread to the flying lantern so that you can bring the lantern down whenever required. After carefully reading the instructions given on the package of the lantern, open it and light the candle placed in it. Observe what happens. After some time. bring the lantern down with the help of the thread and put off the candle geographical explanation the air in the flying lantern gets heated once the candle is lit the hot air expands becomes lighter and starts moving up therefore the lantern is also lifted up towards the sky in nature too a similar phenomena occurs temperature and air pressure are closely related whenever the temperature is high the air pressure is low as the temperature rises the air gets heated expands and becomes lighter this lighter air in the vicinity of the earth's surface starts moving upwards towards the sky as a result the air pressure in such areas decreases temperature zones and pressure belts are interrelated to each other but the latitudinal extent of the temperature zones is much larger while pressure belts are narrower C figure 4.2 A and 4.2 B. For example, the temperate zone extends from 23 degrees 30 seconds to 66 degrees 30 seconds. Compared to this, the air pressure belt has limited extent. It is generally up to 10 degrees parallel. The uneven distribution of temperature influences the distribution of air pressure too. This leads to the formation of low and high pressure belts horizontally between the equator and the poles. See figure 4.2b. Pressure belts on the Earth's surface. The heat received from the sun is uneven in different regions. Hence, distribution of the temperature is uneven from the equator to the poles. 
As a result, the temperature zones are created. We have studied this in the previous class. Equatorial low pressure belt. The sun rays can be perpendicular between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. So, the temperature is higher in this region. Hence, air in this region gets heated, expands, becomes lighter and moves towards the sky. As this process operates continuously, a low pressure belt gets formed in the central part of this region between the parallels 5 degrees north and 5 degrees south. Mid-latitudinal high pressure belts The heated air becomes lighter, starts ascending and after reaching higher altitudes moves towards the polar region that is towards the north and the south pole. Due to low temperature at the higher altitude the air cools down and becomes heavier. This heavier air descends down in both the hemispheres in the region between 25 degrees to 35 degrees parallels. This leads to the formation of high pressure belts in these parallels of altitudes in both the hemispheres. This air is dry. Hence, the region does not get rainfall. Consequently, most of the hot deserts on the earth are found in these regions. See figure 4.2b. Subpolar low pressure beds. Due to earth's curvature, the area between two parallels gets reduced as we move towards the poles. This results in lesser friction of the air with the earth's surface. Air in this region is thrown out because of this reduced friction and also because of the earth's rotational motion. This leads to the development of a low pressure belt. This condition is observed in the area between 55 degrees and 65 degrees parallels in both the hemispheres. Polar high pressure beds. In both the polar regions, the temperature is below 0 degrees throughout the year. Hence, here the air is cold. As a result, high pressure beds get formed. These are called polar high pressure beds. They generally occupy the area between 80 degrees and 90 degrees parallels in both the hemispheres. The duration and the intensity of sun rays varies during particular periods of the year in both the hemispheres. As a result, the location of the temperature zones and the pressure beds dependent on the sun's heat also vary. This change is of the order of 5 degrees to 7 degrees towards north in Uttarayan and 5 degrees to 7 degrees south in Dakshinayan. This is called the oscillation of pressure beds. Isobars the line that joins the places of equal pressure on the map is called an isobar.